morning YouTube happy Friday it is April 7th I'm currently in the woodlands right now I took the day off of work today because I had a lot of stuff that I needed to do I did forget my vlogging camera I was in a rush to get out the door this morning but I did just stop at the post office to ship a book internationally so I was able to do that and now I am parked at the Marriott there is a big event called giving goes glam that the junior league is putting on and I really wanted to attend because I volunteer at a lot of the junior leagues events but a lot of the time I don't actually get to go and attend those events so I really wanted to go to this one because it's a fashion show and it's just really exciting I'm really looking forward to it so it starts at 10 o'clock like I said it's 9 45 here and I just parked so I'm about to go ahead and walk inside and I really wish I had brought my vlogging camera because I know the quality is better on it so I hope you guys can bear with me I just I forgot it today but since I'm doing so much I wanted to go ahead and film this event is from 10 to 1 or I think it's 10 to 1 30 maybe I'm not really sure but I do have an appointment at the Ford dealership for my work vehicle to take it in at 2 o'clock to get it serviced and looked at because I've been having some problems with it okay so I'm gonna go ahead and get my stuff together and then I'm going to head inside to this event so let's do this so since it is a white party, this is what I'm wearing. It's just this white dress with these fun little Dolce Vita shoes that I got at Target. Absolutely love them, love that brand. And I didn't know that they had paired up with Target to make a line, so that's really cool. So I'm heading inside right now. So I left the Giving Goes Glam event about 40 minutes ago. It's now two o'clock. I was supposed to go to the Ford dealership to get my work car serviced and worked on, but there are some different problems with it and the line for that service technician um, is like a couple of weeks. So even if I went there, it would just be a waste of my time. So I said, okay, not doing that. So now I am back over near my house. I am stopping at the post office to check my PO box because it's been a couple of weeks. So that is what I'm doing right now. You guys are seriously amazing. I just checked my PO box and I have like, I think like 10 letters and packages from you guys. So I guess this vlog is kind of going to turn into a little bit of a, an unhaul video or a PO box haul. So I'm so excited to open these. Say it again. Denali. Denali. What are you doing? Denali. <laughs> She's very angry I was gone for such a long time. It was like two hours, so it wasn't even that bad. Obviously I'm home now, better quality because my camera's here, so now I can actually use my vlogging camera. And this is so incredible, you guys. I don't think I've ever gotten that many letters and packages in my P.O. box before. My heart just started fluttering so fast when I was grabbing all of these letters and packages out of my P.O. box. So I am so excited to open these, and we're gonna do that right now. Well, first I'm gonna get out of this dress because I wanna be in something comfortable. So I'm about to do the little dress dance to get my dress off because the zipper goes up really, really high. So this should be interesting. Let's see if I can get this sucker off by myself. Success! Okay, that is way better. Who else, like as soon as you get home, literally you just take off everything, your jewelry, well, except for earrings, but I'll take off my watch, I take off just everything 
everything and throw on yoga pants and just a comfy shirt or sweatshirt. Who else does that? Because I do it the minute I get home. There is not even a delay. Okay, I'm gonna figure out where to set this up so we can go ahead and do this unboxing or unhaul for my P.O. box. All right, let's go ahead and get started because we got ah, quite a few letters. And you cannot do that while I'm opening these, miss. I'll give you a treat in a minute, okay? Okay, oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. You want me letter with me? You want me letters? Yeah. Denali. Okay, this one is from Tamara or Tamara. I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. Ellis. I'm going to open this up. Okay, and I'm not going to read all of these out loud because obviously... Unless it says I can read it out loud, I, you know, it's a personal letter, so I just, I don't feel comfortable doing that, but. Oh, Tamara. Sorry if your name's Tamara, because now I feel bad, because I don't know how to say your name. I'm just saying Tamara for now, but just know that, I'm sorry if that's not how to say your name, but this was such a wonderful letter. I will definitely be writing you back. You have some really awesome questions. And just thank you so much for taking the time to write this and just for all the kind words. That is really sweet, very unexpected, and I really do appreciate it. So I will definitely be writing you back so I can answer your questions. All right, the next one is from Shelly Timms and she is from Australia. So cute. So it looks like she got me these really pretty, they're these bamboo stickers. See if it'll focus on it. Those are so adorable. Oh my gosh, I love them. Shelly, thank you so much. That is so sweet. Of course, I love having pen pals. I will definitely be writing you back. I'll be writing all of you back. It may take me just a little bit of time because I do have some other letters that I still haven't gotten back to. So I'm kind of trying to do them in the order that I receive them. But you guys know I have a pretty insane schedule, but I will definitely, definitely write you back and get back to you. Harley says, yes, I will. I will do it right. I keep my word. I keep my word. Yeah. I missed you too. Can I finish reading these first? All these nice people wrote me letters. Can I finish? Ow. I love you too. <laughs> Go over here. Over here. She's such a lover. She just wants to be. She doesn't understand the concept of personal space. She just wants to be <laughs> right here all the time. They're over there, so I can continue what I was doing. Next, I'm gonna open this package from Jennifer LeBlanc. She is also an author. Please ignore her growling in the background. She's mad because I came home and I didn't give her a treat. <laughs> this is so cute. It looks, no, this is not a dog toy. What is it? This is mine. This is not for you. No, this is mom's. This is mama's. Dory and Nemo. It looks like it. This is not for you either. Dory and Nemo. I did get a little bit because the frame kind of came apart here, but I do have a hot glue gun. Oh wait, no. I think I might just be able to put it back together. I'm gonna have to work on that because I think the frame kind of fell apart a little bit, but, and it was this just keep swimming um, photo of Dory, which is awesome. Oh my gosh. Jennifer, that's that's so sweet. Thank you so much. And I was just talking about before I started reading these that sometimes I do kind of get uninspired or I have those days where they're just hard. I mean, we're all human. We all have bad days. So thank you so much for sending this. And I will definitely squeeze these when I'm having a bad day and just remind myself to just keep swimming, just keep going, keep moving forward. So thank you. That really means a lot. That's such a sweet sentiment and I really do appreciate it. Okay. I'm going to open this other little package here. This is from Christiana. I hope I'm saying your name right. Christiana Johnson in Massachusetts. This is cute. I think I have to read the letter first before I can know what that is. Oh, Christy Johnson. 
When I saw Christiana, I didn't know because your YouTube name is Christy Johnson. So that's why I was like, I feel like I know this name, but that is just, that is so great. So she asked that I not read her letter, which was so cool because she did it on index cards. And I haven't seen that before. And behind each index card, she um, wrote a quote. I feel like I've said quite a few of these quotes in some of my videos or my vlogs. So that was really, really neat to see. But she asked me not to read this one, but that I could read the card that she sent. And she also did send me this bookmark that she made, which is so cool. It says, do more reading, writing, living. That is so neat. And then she got me this card that says, so here's the story. Once there was a girl with stories to tell. She thought that she was the only one. She thought no one would care what she had to say, but she decided that she didn't care if she wrote stories no one would read. She decided this is for me. She found others and followed their journeys and regarded them as fellows and kindred. Some were behind and others ahead. They were all like her with stories to tell. They all had a need to write and she wrote write really big. So that is wonderful. I absolutely love this. Christy, thank you so, so much for the bookmark. This is so neat and just for the letter. As like I said before, I will be writing all of you back. So thank you so much for taking the time to do this. This is just so sweet, you guys. Two, three. All right, we've got four more to get through. So this next one is from Amity Miller. I'm hoping I'm saying your first name right, Amity. But I know I sent you a book recently. Amity, thank you so much. This was so, so sweet. And one of these days I am going to visit Australia because I've heard it's beautiful, I've seen pictures, and I really, really want to go there. I just have not made it over there yet, but one of these days I am going to go over there. So I would love to meet you and anyone else who's in Australia, I would love to meet you as well. I know I just had a letter. Shelly and Amity, I would love to meet both of you whenever I make it to Australia. And obviously you guys will know when that will be happening because I announce everything on social media and YouTube and all that good stuff. Okay, next letter we have is from Amber Craft and she is from Nebraska. Amber, thank you so much. And I love that you used to live in the woodlands. I wish that you still lived here because then we would be able to meet up and hang out and all that good stuff. So if you're ever back in this area, let me know because I would love to meet you in person and I would love to just, you know, go, go do stuff. I know what it's like when you're from somewhere and you're watching it grow and then you leave. That's how I feel about Arizona. Every time I go back to Scottsdale, Arizona, I feel like they've just built up more and more and more of the area. And I'm like, wow, now all of that's there and I'm not there anymore. It's just typical how that happens. <laughs> the next letter is from Brooke Passmore in Oklahoma. So cute. It's these two little dogs in the back of a truck. Brooke, thank you so much. That is really sweet and your letter means a lot to me because I also sort of thought that self-publishing really like wasn't an option and not until I really started researching it and decided, okay, this is what I'm gonna do, did I actually start that whole journey and realize that it is a possibility, that it can be done and you can be successful doing it. So I'm just so happy that you're enjoying my videos and that they're inspiring and that you're learning that is exactly what this channel is for. So that really means a lot to me that you took the time to write this letter to let me know that. So thank you. Next is from Samantha Davidson and she lives in Calgary in Canada. Samantha, oh, you're making me tear up a little bit. All these letters are getting me all emotional. I'm getting like all the feels right now, but thank you so much. I, congratulations on finishing your manuscript. That is a huge accomplishment and just everything you wrote in this letter, it just really, really speaks to me. And of course, I'll be your pen pal. I'm going to write you back. I'm going to write everybody back. I just, I love the written word and I love handwritten letters. I think there's nothing more sincere, more authentic than written letters. This really moved me. Everything here really moved me. So Thank you so much and I will give more detail and answer your questions and you know kind of get into all of that once I write you back but thank you so much for taking the time to write me all of you just thank you so much I am I feel so overwhelmed right now I really like I said I really needed this 
because I was just feeling kind of uninspired lately and it was just weird. I was just in a funk, you know, I'm human and it happens and we all kind of can get a little bit down on ourselves or if we're really overwhelmed, we can just kind of give up on things or, you know, put half the effort into it that we normally would and that's just not the kind of person I am. If I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna go at it full force. I'm gonna put 110% into everything that I do. And just reading your letters and knowing that my videos have helped you or inspired you, or they've kind of kept you going when times are really hard, or it's something where you've kind of incorporated it into your morning routine or your evening routine, that just really means a lot to me that you would take the time to watch my videos and to support me and my channel and my books and everything I'm doing. Like I said, this is exactly what I wanted for this channel. I This is more than I could have asked for for this channel. I just feel so blessed and so, so fortunate right now. And I'm just really, I'm just really touched. So thank you. And before I get emotional, because I normally don't cry, I have a dog here, so let's not be emotional, right? People are just really great. You guys are really great. Oh, I know, you know that I'm, these are happy tears. These are happy tears, I'm not upset. I'm not upset. Okay, so able to blink back, my eyes are all watery, so the screen and the camera's all like, Ugh. But you guys, that also just gave me, I feel just inspired. Like I just, I wanna go do stuff, I want to, get working on my dark fantasy series because I've kind of been putting that off a little bit. I was so busy with the release of restitution, but normally like as soon as I release a book, I'm right on it. And I actually did get, I submitted my ideas for the book cover for that dark fantasy series. And if you guys didn't know, I am going to be sending out the first chapter, like a sneak peek of the first chapter of my dark fantasy book one in May, so that newsletter goes around goes out around the 15th of each month, so it'll be around May 15th, but if you haven't signed up for my newsletter, make sure you do that on my website at kristenmartinbooks.com. That way you won't miss it because we're about a month away from that coming out. And I can't decide yet, but I also think I might go ahead and reveal the title for that first book and what that whole series is technically going to be called so I think I'm going to do that in my May newsletter and then in one of my May videos but if you want to be the first person or one of the first people to find out about that first chapter and what my new dark fantasy series is going to be called then make sure you sign up for my newsletter okay so it is time to get my life organized get moving and start working on some stuff Okay guys, so I'm actually going to go ahead and end the vlog here. I didn't realize that I had so much footage and that we we're getting close to 20 minutes for this vlog. So I don't want to put any more footage in because I feel like that'll just make it a little bit too long. But I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I do want to say thank you again to everyone who wrote to me and sent me packages to my P.O. Box. Again, you guys are absolutely amazing. It really warmed my heart and I cannot wait to write all of you back. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.